are you using Power Pages and you're interested in using external ID? Well, today I'm going to show you how. I'm Tech Tweedy. Let's get started. Share my screen. So we're over here inside of my Tech Tweedy environment. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a new Power Pages site. And we're just going to pick one of these other. It's fine. To get it to build me a site. Can I change it to English? No, I can't. That's English United Kingdom. Let's just do next. Yeah, that's fine. We should have a new site created. Okay, that's awesome. So we've got a little blog. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's go and have a look at security. So inside security, we've got some identity providers. So we can configure all of these identity providers out of the box. However, those of you who are familiar with Azure B2C, you can configure all of these and more under Azure B2C. So you'll then use your identity provider with Azure B2C, and then you'll go from Azure B2C into Power Pages. But today we're going to have a look at Entra External ID, and you know it might have similar capabilities. So to do that, we're just going to click on Configure, uses Open ID Connect, which is part of our auth. We can give it a name. We're going to leave it its its current name. And click on next and it's saying that we need to go across to the entra admin center so first of all let's go and open that okay so we're on our entra screen at the moment entra.microsoft.com and we just need to click on overview and then we need to select manage tenants and then we need to press this create button to press that create button you need the tenant creator role we're also going to need access to an Azure subscription. And we need to put give your uh, tenant a name and select a location. I'm in the UK, so I'm going to choose UK. I'm going to stick it in that particular subscription and create a new resource group for it. I'm going to call it external ID. There we go. And I'm going to stick that in UK South. Awesome. And then we're just going to press create. So just to confirm, we're doing an external identity. There's our name, UK. We've got a subscription for the billing. We're just going to press create. And after a few minutes, we can see our tenant has been created. That's fantastic. Let's dive back to Power Pages and see what the next step is. So we need to register our application using the reply URL below. So let's see what we need to do. Set up our external tenant, register the application. So let's see where we need to go. Go back to our Azure screen. Wrong one. There we go. Let's click here to navigate to our tenant. I sign in with MFA. Let's set up MFA. Grab my Authenticator app.
Brilliant, fantastic. So we've now managed to gain access to our Tech Tweedy external demo tenant. Now I suspect, just like the Jewel B2C, yeah, it has created its own on Microsoft tenant. And I suspect behind the scenes, it's exactly the same as an Office 365 tenant, but obviously with all the fun bits stripped back. But let's let's see what we can do in it. So we need to register a new application. And let's call it uh, Power Pages Demo. I want to put our redirect URL down here. And let's just hit register. Fantastic. And then after the authentication tab, we want to scroll down and we want to select access tokens and ID tokens. So at the moment, this is very similar to Azure B2C. Where is the user flow section? Let's have a look. It's under external identities, user flows. So this menu is almost exactly the same by the looks of it as the one we see in Azure B2C. So we're gonna create a new user flow. You should get like a sign up, sign in option. And we're going to call this sign up, sign in. Um, should we do email and one time passcode? We want people's given name, surname. Mm, don't really want display name. We'll also get their email address. Now, their email address is important because that's the claim that will pass across into our contact record inside of Power Pages. Let's create that. One last thing we need to do in our user flow is we need to configure our application. Let's just press on Applications. We're going to press on Add, and then we're just going to add this Power Pages demo application to it. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to add some of our information about our Azure B2C tenant. So client ID is the first thing. So we go back to our app registrations. Let's grab our client ID. That once, ah, there we go. Um, we need our authority URL. So this is different actually from where we used to get it. So if I go and have a look at external identities, user flows, there used to be a place in here to get it. And I just want to see if that still exists. Okay. Interesting. Let's kind of have a look at all applications and it says endpoints. So we just want to copy our authority endpoint. Wrong screen. Paste that in. Uh, read about URL, meta address, you can copy. Okay, so we need to go back here and there'll be a meta URL. Fantastic. Let's just go to this URL because there should be a lot of data stored in JSON format. Let's make that a bit prettier. Yeah. Okay, so this is some of the stuff we used to copy for Azure B2C. We used to copy this value and this value issuer. They're the two we used to copy in for Azure B2C. And we used to be able to get to those through our user flow. Okay, so let's copy and paste these in. No space on the end. Let's go next. Um, let's just go to Google. Yeah, let's just go to my site actually.
Yeah, you know, we just want to put our email address and things in there, but we'll we need to do um our emails claim mapping. So let's just double check what this should be. So this is where we map the claim that's coming through and we pass it to we pass it to match something that's inside of our our tenant. So if we do this with an email address, what will happen is that when the user comes in, it'll map to that user and pass. And if it's creating a new record, it will pass that value in. I'm sure, it's email address one, but it's see if any. Let's see if I've got it in notes somewhere. No. So the basic format is like this. So if we go and find our contacts table, There you go, and we want a logical name. Awesome. Some choice attributes. And then if we go and have a look inside our meta, we should see what that's called. So if we go inside of here and we've got down here, we've got our supported claims, these things coming through. Email. There we go. So let's go back and say that equals that. So when we register new users, that'll come through. Awesome. Let's close that off. And uh, let's press sync and let's see if that works. That's just because it's the first time I'm accessing that particular page. And currently it's wrapped in as your oh well, Entra ID authentication. Have we got anything that requires us to log in yet? No, let's make something that requires us to log in and then at least we'll be able to trip it up. Uh, permissions, I want to select, I want only authenticated users to see this page. Let's sync those changes. Okay, so the next step is to restart our site. So if we select it here, we go to site actions and we select restart. Give that a few moments. We just keep refreshing. And now our Power Pages instance has restarted. We can see we have this Microsoft Entra External ID button. If we press on that, and we don't currently have an account yet in this tenant, so we're going to click on No. I'm going to type our email address in. In fact, press on Next. It's going to ask us for a code. So we pop across to our Outlook. You can see we've had a code that's come in. Just going to copy that. And we're going to paste that in here. Ask us for our given name. So I'm going to say Ian Demo Tweedy. Just going to press on Next. It's 
asking for an admin to grant consent. So let's go back and see what we've done wrong. Go back into our tenant. And let's go to our app registrations. Let's go to Power Pages. And we just need to grant admin consent there. Let's try that again. So we're going to go back out of here. All the way back to this page. Let's give it a refresh. Next, we're going to grab our new code. There we go. Copy and paste that in. And as we can see, we've managed to successfully configure that and it's passed in our email address. It's also passed in our name, which is quite handy. We didn't configure these as claims. That's interesting. But we've got ourselves an account all set up. So there you have it, a very simple, quick setup fly through of how to configure as your, not as your intra external ID. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. Until next time, stay safe.